and welcome. I'm going to be showcasing some cards that I created using the Spellbinder Stitching Die of the Month for June of 2024. This one is called Stitched Ice Cream. Okay, I'm going to show you these sentiments. There are two sentiments and one banner die. There are three dies that are for the ice cream, the scoop, and then the little ice cream accent piece, whether that be whipped cream or just another layer of ice cream, whatever you want to make it. The cherry has the cherry as one die and then the leaf and the stem as another. And then the cone has four dies, the outline of the cone and then the inside. And the stitching areas are featured on the cone and on the ice cream, the um, scoop of ice cream itself. And I'm going to go ahead and die cut all of these using some papers from my stash. But first I wanna just give you an idea of what it looks like when you put everything all together. The sentiments are have a sweet day and have a cool summer and the banner cuts those sentiments out. Okay so I have various different styles of paper including this faux watercolor paper, some craft card stock, and different papers in different shades of pink as well as some red foil cardstock, which I will use for the cherry. I cut the leaf and the stem for the cherry out with white cardstock, and I'm just going to use my blending brushes to color these. I'm going to use brown for the stem and green for the leaf. I'm just using whatever ink was left over on my brush from the last time that I ink blended with my brush. I'll go ahead and fast forward this for the sake of time. Okay, so while I'm doing this, I'm going to let you know that if you're interested in this product or any of the Spellbinders Club Kits, um, the window to order is the 6th through the 27th of the month. So if this is something that you're interested in, you can use my link below. Head on over to Spellbinders and place your order. And you can cancel at any time. So you might not want this set after you get today's set, which is super okay. Spellbinders makes things really flexible. Or maybe you decide to, maybe you already are receiving one of the kits and you just want to add this on. You can do that too. Spellbinders has a variety of monthly club kits. Everything from Glimmer of the Month, Stencil of the Month, Large Die of the Month, Small Die of the Month. This is the Stitching Die of the Month. There's embossing folders. There's Glimmer. There's just a lot to choose from. They have one big set that's called the Whole Caboodle. Anyways, okay, so now that I have my pieces all cut out, you can see how nice this has been embossed um, because the Spellbinders dies do a wonderful job not only cutting but also embossing. And then I'm just going to decide what my layout's going to be. And I'm thinking about an ice cream cone, obviously, here, a strawberry one. And now I'm going to go ahead and start assembling and putting everything together. Okay, we have um, the cones that I put together. I did the stitching off the camera, so I wasn't videotaping myself doing the stitching, but it was pretty easy. Um, realized that I am not a seamstress. I do not sew, and I never thought about stitching dies, but actually they're a lot of fun. Okay, so I've got the Spellbinders arches here, and I'm going to go ahead and cut out some of the new glitter paper from Spellbinders. Okay, so now that I've explained my thought process behind the 
using the arches. I wanted to show you, this is me putting together these little small dies. These are the cherries, and I'm going to have one ice cream cone have two cherries on top, and the other one will have one cherry on top. So I'm gonna grab my Glad Press and Seal, cut off a small square or shape of it, and then put it directly over the two cherries. I already have the one cherry completed and glued together. Here's my little piece of, of, of Glad um, Press and Seal or whatever. And then you pick it up, you can see how everything sticks to that. Now I'll flip it over and I will go ahead and put the glue on the back. And then when I go to place it, it'll be ready to go on my card panel. I'm just cleaning up some of the glue here that oozed out when I was applying it to the little cherries. All right, so this is some Spellbinders paper from a while ago that I had left over in my stash. It's like a pattern paper. You can use any color. I used a purple color. And then over top of that, I put one of the arches. And then I have some uh, pink pearlescent paper. So that'll be card number one. And then for card number two, I had some Spellbinders paper from a long time ago that I'm using. It's a striped pink card stock. And then I have um, the arch made out of the glitter paper. And then I have a glitter arch. I've got my sentiment. And now I have my cone. Everything's coming together quite nicely. Okay, and now I just have to make sure I have this centered. And I use some of the Spellbinders mini foam dots to pop up my sentiments. I also in addition to completing the outside, I did put a strip of the pattern paper um, along the inside to help with matching the two different parts of the card together. So that's card number one and card number two is very similar. I wanted to say, please hang on for the end of the video. I'll have some still photos of the cards that I created. And if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and ring the bell so that you're notified of my future videos. And um, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. What's your favorite ice cream? If you leave a comment, you will be entered into a drawing. I am going to be drawing winners who are going to receive a free card from me and probably a little bonus item too, because I have a lot of things I need to de-stash. Um, I recently just hit 4,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel, so I'm super excited about that. I thank each and every one of you that's already subscribed. And um, yeah, I have a lot of things I need to do for giveaways. But, but first, let's get started with just giving away some cards and sharing some of that happiness. Uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Have a hopeful day. Bye-bye.